Hello, welcome to Best Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? Now, in this speed build video, I'm going to build a farmhouse, and going to be inspired by a very country vibe has the Sims Two Seasons has been offering up, and also, uh, I also inspired by um, the Sims Four Cottage Living expansion pack, and. I'm wondering whether The Sims 2 can live up to The Sims 4 country vibes. And let's check it out. Now, I started off this build with the garage. It looks like a barn house converted into a garage. So, um, I find it very interesting to use the barn house uh, roofing style that is going to be used for the garage. And it, the difficult part for this barnyard style house is the roofing because you need the two different angles for the uh, for the roof to work and in the end you still have like some glitch on the edge of the roofs but I don't really mind because the shape of the house is retained. And before we move on to explaining more about the farmhouse, I'm going to explain a little bit about how this channel has started. So, um, it's been a while that um, the Sims 4 community has been complaining about how Sims 4's gameplay wasn't working out that well. So I'm thinking, why don't I make a channel uh, dedicated to the older Sims games, like from Sims 1 all the way to Sims 3, and build using doing the build challenges and all the sim challenges in the sims 1, 2 and 3 and I find it really much more enjoyable than just uh, this thing about the sims 4 <laughs> we all know sims 4 is, doesn't really live up to our expectations as a long time sims player Also, a quick shout out to the music that I've been using in the background, which is uh, you featured in The Sims 2 Pets and Sims 2 Seasons. Both extension packs work really, really well for creating this architectural style. So as you can see on the screen, uh, I've started to paint the exteriors of the house and also the garage. Uh, for the garage would be the barnyard panel with, which is red in color and added the uh, white detailing on the top of the roof. And for the, for the house, um, nothing not too complicated, just use a red siding. So I did mention that I created this channel to uh, create more videos about Sims 1 to E. Um, if you have noticed lately, um, I'm only focusing more on the Sims 2 gameplay and builds. Um, unfortunately for the Sims 3, I would like to do more for Sims 3. But uh, according to an analytics, um, Sims 3 videos don't do do too well uh, in this channel so um, furthermore um, the sims 3 lags in my computer and i don't think i do a lot of the sims 3 videos uh, in the near future so sorry the sims 3 fans i really love to do that more do that game more um that's how it is right now for the sims 1 i think it's a slow burn. It takes a while to catch up, but it does seem to be really popular. But I'm thinking of uh, how to have more videos about The Sims 1 pretty, pretty soon. So I uh, hope you'll keep an eye on that.
Now the exterior of the house take way longer than I thought because this the basic shell is basically just a rectangle and a smaller rectangle attached to it. But to make it look good and interesting, which is taking a lot more time than I thought, and I also try to add dormers on top of the roof so it won't look super boring on top. And yeah. So I'm thinking of an open concept on the ground floor and with a kitchen, dining and living area or can be seen and I also have a bathroom at the ground floor and also on the top floor with the master bedroom and also uh, two more bedrooms for uh, the family of four which is has parents and two kids. Now, initially, I'm thinking of only parents and two kids, and I'm thinking why not I throw in some pets. Uh, maybe this family has a pet dog, and so I have uh, some pet supplies, pet bowl, some pet meats uh, on the ground floor and also on the first floor, and also a dog house uh, at the backyard. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, kids' bedroom. I really, really like to use the race car themed uh, bedroom for the kids' bedroom. And I think it's uh, used to be included in uh, one of the stuff packs I'm not really sure of. And before that, it was used to be a free download from the Sims 2 website. So it is pretty cool that later on uh, they included. Uh, free downloads in uh, the later expansion packs and for everyone to enjoy. So for the kitchen and dining, both use the Sims 2 Seasons expansion pack which has the country kitchen vibe to it which is really nice and I also add a juicer for them to create some juices for the family. I also want to take this opportunity to share my upload schedule. So my up regular uploading schedule is on Tuesdays and Fridays, mostly for builds and or in the weekends, I uh, will have uh, some special uh, videos for you. Um, it can be gameplay, it can be other special builds or speed builds like this. Here I'm doing the kids' bedroom first, um, as I mentioned, using the race car team. Doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to use a different color scheme with the walls and floors to give a little slight contrast. I really don't feel like I need to get everything in the same color. So while I'm building this um, 
house, I noticed that uh, some empty spaces uh, at one section in the living room. Maybe I'm thinking to put a desk and computer so that it's like a family computer so everyone can have a hand to uh, use the computer to do their stuff. It's not much, but everyone has to share it. As you can see here, I'm going back and forth and furnishing and decorating a house outside, picking random things and uh, I wasn't thinking, oh, this looks good in one place and this look good, looks good in the other place. So, um, so I don't really follow room by room and then make sure I complete one room first and I move on to the other one. That's not really how I go. I usually put the main stuff first, then decorating later. As for the one of the bedrooms, I may be thinking of a teenager who is an aspiring, aspiring music musician who lives in the country. Maybe, hopefully, to make it big someday. Oh, I forgot to mention that this house is built in River Blossom Hills, which is the neighborhood in The Sims 2 Seasons expansion pack. I feel that this house will suit really well into the whole neighborhood. I did mention uh, this build is also inspired by Sims 4 Cottage Living Expansion Pack. I honestly, I have played a little bit in the Sims 4 Cottage Living and I find it really interesting, really cool. Uh, I think this is one of the stuff, better stuff packs in the Sims 4. And the things that Sims 4 can do is cannot be done in Sims 2, but it's okay, which is what they added new things. Especially, they have 
livestock like chickens, cows, and even a llama. And The Sims 2 doesn't have a farming tag, but uh, this uh, build is uh, trying to be as close as possible that you can do pretty much the farming stuff. Also, do let me know in the comments how do you find The Sims 4 uh, Cottage Living expansion pack that they live up to your expectations. Uh, moving on to the outside and um, definitely having a lot of plots of land for them to garden and also some fruit trees for them to take care of and harvest and I also built a, a pond to for them to fish and everything else is surround everything is surrounded by a big fence for which is owned by them so Basically, this house can re practically live on its own without buying much groceries and everything they can grow and they can collect uh, right outside from their backyard, which is really cool for a farmhouse. Also for the garage, I also put in a pickup truck for this house. I rarely use that pickup truck, obviously because it doesn't really suit most of the family style gameplay that that most of the house use. The pickup truck is pretty suitable for this farmhouse, so I'm using that over a regular family car.
adding in more finishing touches here and there and pretty much it and this brings to a close to my speed build video if you like this house do leave me a comment and don't forget to like share and subscribe to west anime sims and i'll see you on the next video bye bye